weather conditions are super important for the still hunter and adverse weather conditions can actually have more of a positive impact on your still hunt than a negative impact. When the wind's blowing and you got some noise from the wind, it's gonna cover up the noise that you're making. And if it's a fierce wind where it's actually moving some branches and moving some of the brush around you, that will actually mask some of your movements. I've actually with turkeys before been in sight of a turkey under 50 yards and been moving because the wind was so high I was, my movement was blending just in with the surrounding vegetation and I actually was able just to slowly sneak into uh, bow range of a uh, gobbler once in a, in a high wind situation. Other weather conditions that can be helpful to the still hunter are any sort of precipitation and right after that precipitation. Rain you know it quiets the ground so what maybe six hours ago was a layer of dry crunchy leaves are now soft, quiet, and, and those soft, quiet leaves literally just absorb your noise. And so you can walk like a ghost through the woods on some soft, quiet leaves. Fresh snow, same thing. Soft, fluffy, fresh snow just absorbs all noise. Probably not gonna hear your quarry either because their noise is gonna be masked, but you, again, you're gonna be able to move like a apparition through the forest um, with you know a couple to six inches of fresh snow. Weather conditions you need to watch out for that might be um, prohibitive to a successful still haunt would be um, snow that has had the chance to warm up during the day and then freeze at night. So if you had a warm day and a cold evening, the next morning might not be a good time to go still hunting because you're probably gonna have crusty frozen snow which every step is gonna crunch, crunch, crunch and you're not gonna be sneaking up on much at all. Conversely, that afternoon, when the snow's warmed up again, softened up, it's gonna make for excellent still hunting conditions. Maybe a little bit slippery, but probably excellent still hunting conditions. When the snow really starts to melt, and you actually get, after a fresh snow, you get some melting snow falling out of the trees, and you get a sort of a pitter patter in the forest from that snow melting, and it could be from a light rain as well. Um, again, that's other noise that is then covering the noise that you're making that would help you be quieter and help you in your success as a still hunter.